Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. All right. What up? So I got some candidates. What we got? For some theme music for you. Let's li- let's listen, gentlemen. All right. Open your ears. Is one of them Inigata DeVito? No. <laughs> None of them is. That. It's all nothing you have heard of because that costs money. Damn it. I wanted that. I paid $3 for each of these songs and I get like a million plays on them. Boom. Like the rights have been cleared and everything. All right. Let's use the first play. Right. <laughs> now it does, it does change and gets better. Okay. But. It's open. <laughs> I actually think this is a strong candidate once it kicks in. What's your gentleman's show? Mm, we got anything with a guitar? Uh, oh, Bruce White? This, this seems like more like a like a video game podcast yeah. opening. Yeah. Welcome to the Nerd Podcast. <laughs> All about video games. <laughs> what was the first video game machine you had when you grew up? Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's a no on this. Sorry. Sorry. We're right. that one. Nick's right. in it. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. You done, son? That was for the video podcast. Video game podcast. Yep. We'll do that one, too. We can. The video game. Video. Video. <laughs> It's so like, I'm playing Pac-Man. <laughs> no, I'm playing um, Pitfall. Yeah, I'm pretty far. Can't get past those gators, though. You know, just all the new shit. <laughs> yeah. Come on, yeah. guys. Oregon Trail. Yeah, this is probably a no. What's this? Hold on, hold on. I like the drums in it. Hope it picks up. This sounds like an intro to a nine-point song. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Not bad. What do you think? Hey, no. I'm still not feeling now. Oh, okay. Warmer though. I'm warmer. A, it is warmer. I'm a picky bitch. I'm sorry. We're all picky <laughs> bitches. That's how I am. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Those are my eye holes. <laughs> <laughs> you know that reference? <laughs> you don't watch Rick and Morty, do you? Oh, God, oh, yes. My God. Oh, God, yes. This guy doesn't. He doesn't like it one bit. Love Rick and Morty. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I can't. Oh. Ooh. A little old school 80s, early, you know, late 70s wrestling music. Oh, this makes me feel like the opening to, like, Thunder. Yeah. The Rock and Roll oh, yeah. Express. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I am. I'm feeling so, that one. So this, like is this, a, one. this is a strong candidate? This is a strong, a strong candidate. Strong. I, I like, like this one. I like this. Keep this one on Check it. One possibility. All right. Got a vote from Aaron. He liked it. Yeah, he liked it too. This guy. No, I do. Know, <laughs> this guy. I, I do know one of these I, I already used for something, and I'll know it when I hear it. Okay. Hey, welcome to the Beer Nut Podcast. Your show in week into the world of beer. Right, yeah. Why well, do listen to you? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a closet fan. <laughs> <laughs> I just outed myself. <laughs> All right, so no on this. Gotcha. It's okay. I mean, it's not the best. <laughs> when you're not around, I listen to your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> At night, I think about you. What? No. <laughs> Chris. What are you doing, Chris? Like Sting. Like an alternate Sting entrance. More fitting. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That one's kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh, picking up. Welcome to World Championship Radio. You're home for the most hardcore wrestling podcasting in the world. If you don't listen, we're going to find you kicking your door and punch you in the face. You know what? I like that one. I was about to go way dark. Like, I was going to pull an eyeball out, skull fuck you. Like, that's that's my realm. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm, I'll just shut up. <laughs> I like that one, though. That All was right. a good one. Yeah. So we have another candidate. It's another check possibility. Yeah. All right. Two. That one, that was actually 
a little hard and sexy. Yeah, it was sexy. I like that. It's a nice combination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Scott Hall. <laughs> and he had the mustache. The top so. Oh. Now this is Nitro. <laughs> Welcome to Monday Night Nitro! <laughs> We're live in the land of Georgia! <laughs> live from Joe Louis Arena! <laughs> Our world-class natural girls are dancing for you! <laughs> Check out beautiful Jay. <laughs> it's like, really? Do we have to point one girl out? There's seven of them dancing there. They're all beautiful. But no, look at Jay. This is Shawn Michaels. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pump right. it, pump it. Yeah. So we have two now. I like that quick. one. That was pretty cool. It was okay, but. It wasn't as good as the other two. Yeah. No, that was like Shotgun wasn't. Saturday Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Why isn't that on the network? I don't know. I'd love it. I, I, do they not have or the heat? rights to it? Do they have heat on there? No. 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 What the heat's, hell? Heat's not on there either. That's dumb. Shotgun. I'd or, watch it. Or not Shotgun on Saturday Night, but um, what's the one? Uh, the six oh five show. Um, uh, duh, duh, for WCW, their Saturday show. It was Saturday six oh five. When the the Super Show or? Yeah, I think you're right. All right. So you say you guys are looking for more like driving guitar kind of stuff? Yeah. All right. Let's just let's go through this whole. Buda buga, buda buga. Good. Like Kurt Angle's about to end it. This sounds like something the ECW theme song. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I do. I, I like this one. Like old Please. ECW. Oh yeah. Does it be like? They show like the little f- flips of the different seeds before the front of the show. <laughs> yep, yep. There's Tommy Dreamer. The Sandman just standing up there in the crowd. Yeah, Taz, or Sandman drinking a beer and cracking it over his head. I like that opening. Yeah, I like that. Oos. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It's picking up better. Uh, is it going to do anything? No. Is it just going to do this? Trent Reznor called it once a song back. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? EC3. <laughs> yeah, this sounds like a new tag team that just came out. Yeah, this a bunch is just of the music boys, they used losers. for. Them. No, I don't like it. Get they're it out like, of they're here. like, we're not going to spend too much money on them. <laughs> We bought the rights from this for three yeah. dollars. <laughs> we bought this for three dollars. We get a million plays. <laughs> you do any better, we'll buy it. A looping raw theme song. Party boys, circa Team Extreme. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys look warm on that one. Yeah. This one's called Heavy and Hard. Heavy and Hard. That's me, baby. That's what she said. All the time. <laughs> I like this one. It's kind of a heel, heel theme. Okay. Yeah. Like, after I get into it... You don't All like right. anything. You're right, I don't. You universally hate everything. All right, so it's between me and Brownlee. <laughs> You're out. You're yep. fired. There you go. Let's You're see. fired. I be hating. <laughs> That's my rap name. Well, we don't need that right now. We need to figure out a song. <laughs> if I hear something I like, I'll tell you. Welcome to the Spooky Podcast. Yeah, no, right. Halloween's our favorite time of the year. We come in peace. The Halloween edition. Yeah, there we go. We can do a yeah, Halloween. This sounds like a Halloween song. If you were a, a, the Gangrel reboot, this would be his theme song. <laughs> yeah. The Brood 2.0. Yeah, the Brood 2.0. This would be their theme music. would be Halloween Havoc music. <laughs> That's Devil's Night. <laughs> What are you doing home? Watching Havoc. (laughs) Whoa. I can do 
do it all, uh, without that weird yeah, shit. Yeah, that fucking weird in the- intro. Get rid of that. Yeah, and just yeah, do the yeah, beat. Yeah, 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 that would be cool. When it busts yeah, into the, when it gets into it, it's awesome. And yeah. The, the fucking intro, though, that's... Mm, so put a check on crack that. Crack is whack. Make a note. <laughs> the intro, no. <laughs> Hell no. What is this, Jump Cherry? Yeah. Or is this the roadie? All right, all right, all right. J-E, all right, all right. double F. Yeah. J-A, double I, E-T. That's right, slap nuts. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. I like this one. Welcome to our home in Stamford, Connecticut. I like this. Yeah, but they don't. See? What do you feel? Live from Christopher Studios in Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, all right. <laughs> you ass better call somebody. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> needs to kick in. Yeah, something needs to kick in. Better be awesome in yeah, like better 10 be, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> good, good call on the time. 10 seconds. Aww. What are you doing? You doing it? You doing no. it? No. Not no more. It's not. Uh, Jeez, I saw you getting into it. I think it. we all thought it was going to get much heavier than it did. <laughs> right, right. That's what I thought was going to happen then. So we need something. What do you, what do you, what do you? I mean, we just got to hear it. I mean, there's no real way. Yeah, it's one of those well, no, well, not when we hear it. Right. Like a good band. Uh, We're the three man band. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard something about you, sir. About moi? Yeah. What's that? That's really, uh, it's just been bothering me. I heard that you're a Heath Slater fan. What? Who told you I was? <laughs> well, he does have kids, so. <laughs> I mean, you got to support that. He's got kids. <laughs> You're a he's uh, fan, aren't the you? The title of this next compilation is Scream. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Scream? Your your theme might be in this next compilation. All right, let's hear it. Although I don't know. All right. Scream. First song is called Crowd Cheers. Why would you lead off something called Scream with a track called Crowd Cheers? <laughs> yeah, why would you? So far not. Come on. No. No. Here so, come the Von Erics. Especially yeah. <laughs> the, the description is a hot seller, a collection of heavy hitting, raw, aggressive rock music. Nothing about that no, was heavy hitting, that aggressive, <laughs> nor rock. Can we write a note to the person who made it and say that? Hey, all right, this one's called Get Serious. Yeah, there we go. Get serious, boy. Better get serious, sir. They're definitely a lot more serious than the one before. Yeah. We have 100% heard, like, every wrestling generic yeah, song. No, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. You could use any of these for a well, theme. No 100% one. everyone. Yep. Nah. Here comes a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> No, this sounds like weighing in at 275 pounds from Evansville, Indiana. And then insert some generic yeah. guy who'll be out of Scott the Ryder. Yeah, some guy will be out of the Federation within two weeks. Yeah, this young man looks promising. Yeah, he looks like he's something, isn't he? I Richard love the face. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Spring Stampede. Yeah, nothing about anything we've <laughs> I heard. I didn't feel that either, man. Like the last three. Wrong. Diver. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. I've been waiting for this moment. 
my life. Sounds like Bradshaw's music right before he retired or something like that. Is that Bradshaw? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this whole, this one. Triple A Ding, ding, ding. We're leaving ding, this ding, one. Ding, ding, Let's ding, type ding. in metal. Yeah, metal. 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 <laughs> in your ear. Infection. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said in your ear. I was like, in your ear, infection. Makes sense. <laughs> in your ear, infection. In your ear, infection. Hmm. All in your ear, infection. Metal. Metal. <laughs> Olaf, metal. Urgh. Yeah. Olaf, do that thing you do. Come on. Oh, Come on. Would you like to make some fuck pathetic? It's like, screw it. I'm recording it now. One take. What do I do from here? Just pick it up once. One step. He just sat there and did 10 minutes of... Yeah. You hear his wife yelling in the background, you haven't come up with shit all day. He's going to type in hard. Yeah, yeah, something that makes us hard. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Give me a couple minutes. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, you sick bastards. It's ah. a, this collection is called Hard Edge Action Hot... Ooh. Hard pumping rock electronica aggressive hardcore action themes to suit any production need. Boom. I like it. Yeah, we might Great not. description. I would love to just write these descriptions. There you go. Now we're getting to ROH territory. <laughs> wow. Thank God this is not a video podcast. <laughs> That's why I told you you don't want to do a video podcast. Hey, why not? Why not? No. Why not? I don't want my face on video. You just were... You could hold the camera. Perfect. No, <laughs> no you, you could wear. No, here. you could wear a lucha libre mask every episode. I'd do that. Oh, I would do that. Winter is. The oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, continue, please. Oh, I, I forgot. You don't watch TNA. I do. Well, I haven't. No, oh, Who is I have older not. TNA. Wait Which, a minute. This sounds like. That? Uh, Damn it. Not Goddard's. Is it? Uh, Jesse Goddard or whatever? Jesse Goddard. <laughs> that guy. I, I can't stand that fucking guy. You guy drank? No. No, uh, it, it was a chick. Winner. She yeah, has, okay, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, she had a lesbian uh, angle with um, Angelina Love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, um, oh, God, what, what was my man that did the pirate gimmick in WWE? Uh, uh Bob. Virgil. Virgil. She yeah. she was Virgil's sister. Oh, uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Waters now. She yeah. goes by the name Waters. Uh, Veronica or something like yeah. that. No, I I found right, this so really, that's more of a diva theme. <laughs> I found this great YouTube vi uh, channel where this guy does uh, uh, shoot interviews with wrestlers. I'll have to show you. Nope. No. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you being such a diva? <coughs> you can look Sounds like the Godfather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the word. Well, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> These all sound like chick theme songs. Like what? Chick theme songs. All right, all right. <laughs> Almost got away from you there, huh? I know. <laughs> yep. It was like shit got real. You did? Got damn real. <laughs> Kitty. When keeping it real goes, goes wrong. wrong. <laughs> Wu Tang. <laughs> when, when picking a theme song goes terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Kick him in the eye, kick him in the eye, kick him in the eye. Oh, what? I, I don't. I kind of like it. Singer. I knew that. I knew it. I was waiting for the right time to say it. <laughs> now that you just did that, I know you want to be a metal singer. So he's a punk rock singer, is what he is. Yeah, punk rock. You want to be a punk rock singer? 
There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Smooth jazz. Ooh. Smooth jazz. Ooh. Hello, uh, This is ladies. 80s WWF uh, pay-per-view. The song is for the called Stark. Urban Rocker. Nothing about this is neither urban nor rocker. <laughs> At this year's in your house. Yeah. We're going to give somebody a house for real. Yeah. <laughs> Are you our caller? <laughs> God, I remember that. I do too. I watched the whole. Yeah. Which in your house was that? that was the first one? It was the, the first fr- very first one. Mm-hmm. Very first in your house. He was gonna do it for all of them. I mean, that didn't work out very well that first. Oh, what up, Val Venus? Yeah, no right. I was, go- I was going for the Rick Root. Oh, I'm the, sorry. the ravishing one. The, the ravishing Hall of Fame bound ravishing one. The- the guy with more titles. Does, does, does anybody? <laughs> I love when people put that shit. H O F. I'm like, are you that lazy? It's like a couple letters for each thing. You're going to <laughs> David Hasselhoff's Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> WWE. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. So we got four Turn finalists. Yeah, all right. Let's hear them again. All, all right. right. Number one. Number one. Number one. Uh, was shit. I think this one. Oh, I thought you made a list. <laughs> Number. You made the four. list. <laughs> <laughs> you made the list. This is the one that picks up. Yeah, this is. I don't. I, I like this one. I mean, this is a strong candidate. Yeah, that was not bad. I, I, but let's see the rest. Uh, I think <laughs> it was not one that one. Uh, was this one. Goddamn anonymous raw GM. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Damn hornswoggle. <laughs> yeah. One? I believe it was. Was this one of the ones we picked? I remember liking it, but I don't. I definitely don't like it more than the first yeah, one. Yeah, not more than the first. No, that one's out. Maybe. Oh, wait. I mixed the first one up with this one. Yeah. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, no, that's right. So then, yeah, my guess is you probably like the next two better than these, because then we had... You liked this one? Yeah, this is the one. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the one where it's like angle. the... Cu- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like you kind of cut that weird ass yeah, fucking cut that weird end. Yeah, This is cool. I like this too. I do. I like this one. And then it I like this one over the first one, honestly. One mode. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> as long as we cut the intro on the front of it. Yeah, yeah, that fucking annoys the shit out of me. Like fade in from that, from the middle of that, into the main. We, this is oh fuck that I like this. You like this one this more one. than the other one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, it, this is my number one. It's my number one back. Number one. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> hey, Sheik. Akui. Coming down to the ring, Jake. Oh, the no, that's Snake right. Roberts. <laughs> yeah, that was a scary one. Yeah, this is the one where you cut the front off again. Keep waiting. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one I remember the most. I like this one. I'll, I'll concede to it. it, it if both of y'all vote for it, I'll concede to it because I like this one too. 
Okay. Not as much as the one yeah, that, that I said was my number one, but I like you too, so. Yeah, we I just got to cut it. the front on that again. I mean, like the other one. Like, a little build up. Like, this ain't bad either. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's Roman Reigns! Yeah. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> no, I'm booing Roman Reigns. I'm not booing the song. Yeah, I don't mind this one. World Championship radio material right there, boys. I like that in the background. Yeah. This is the, the, the only one that the three of you all said yes to. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There you go. Boom, done. Hey, all right. Check it off. We got our theme song. Yeah. Just like that. There you go. It just got off the list. Yeah. You made the list. <laughs> you know what list? You just made the list. Oh man, the list made the list. That's wild stuff. It had to, because another list was made. That's true. <laughs> How else would they have a match at WrestleMania? The list, the list of KO made the list of Jericho. <laughs> Screw your list. <laughs> <laughs> You're going on a list. <laughs> Soak it in, man. Yep. Soak it in, man. <laughs> That's it. I I could do terrible wrestling impressions all goddamn day long. What are you talking about, Daddy? You can do whatever you want to do over there, baby. I let you do whatever you want. Oh, there you are you, you are so lucky that that damn thing that you sent. Wouldn't download. I know. Or that would be your new ringtone. <laughs> All right. So this will be my guest spot. We'll end. Should I start your music and you can actually kind of introduce the show and then? Well, uh, I was. I kind of had an idea for an intro. Oh yeah. I had, I, had, I was practicing it the last couple of days. Sweet. Oh yeah. Or I would just introduce, you know, like these two gentlemen and myself, and say that we're the best goddamn wrestling podcast on the internet today. And if you want to challenge us, we're right here. We all felt that we bought at a store. Hey, you want to get your ass kicked? Now you're alone. You're alone with three dudes with world championship title belts. Hey, kayfabe. Kayfabe, son. Get that some bitch boot and stunner. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll rock bottom you. And Mikey you. B will undertake, undertake you. He will undertake you. Undertake you. You are all store-bought champions. I'm stealing this. I'm taking it away. Do you want to try your intro? Yeah, I'll give it a run, and you guys can think what you, you know, say whatever you hate it. I sound like a dumbass saying it. Go ahead and tell me. I don't care. All right. Here's what I got. All right. It's time for the World Championship Radio Podcast. And I got my good buddies here once again, Justin. Yo, yo, yo. And my good buddy over here to my left, Mike. Hello. We are, and I am Rob. And this is one hell of a podcast that we're going to put together, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you realize that. We have a good sound guy over here for tonight uh, sitting in, Mr. Chris. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe like the next 30 seconds. I love you. He's all right, right, guys. He's all right. Hey, he's helping us out, getting this together, whatnot, what have you. But, uh, you know, we're here to talk about one thing, right? One thing and one thing only. Hey, wrestling. 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 (laughs) You do a damn good Vince McMahon, by the way, sir. You're fired. (laughs) We got a contender over here. We got a contender with the Vince McMahon. Oh, you know what? You say We have Vince off? (laughs) <laughs> Do we have a Vince off? My first ever Vince off on the show? Just started off, just Vince off. Vince Go. off. Go. <laughs> and fight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, goddamn, pal. <laughs> but, uh, no. Uh, hey, we're gonna. What do you, uh, you guys want to talk about? A little news? A little, what's going on in the world of wrestling? 
as part of uh, or what do you want to do here? What's uh, what's the plan of action, gentlemen? What is in the news of wrestling? Well, just uh, just recently, actually today, uh, they unveiled a mega-sized world title belt in downtown Orlando for WrestleMania 33. Yes, you did send me that. Ah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? How big it is. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm looking at the picture, or I looked at the picture. And they couldn't get anybody else bigger to show up and unveil this belt. Well, no I'm, Triple H, nobody. All NXT. Well, I I, I, just, I told Mike earlier. I was like, I think it was just whoever was closest at the time. You know, I mean. NXT, you know, they tape at Full Sail. So, I mean, that's right near Orlando itself. They're like, but, hey, no way, Jose. What are you doing? Yeah. Hey, hey, Shinsuke, we know you don't speak a lick English. Get over here. He does speak very good English. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, now, also, though, but who's who's in the middle on the on the podium there? The gray-haired guy with the belt that's holding the... the uh, that's the mayor, actually. That's the mayor? Or Yeah, he is the mayor of Orlando. I swear to God, I thought that was uh, not, not, uh, not Tino Santana, but uh, um, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. It does. It does I, look a lot like him. I kid you not. I'm sitting there going, holy crap, they got Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and no way, Jose. Right. <laughs> no way. But I was Jose. wondering in front no, of way. no way, Jose, is that Jim Johnson? <laughs> That's in the <laughs> or, or what the, who is that guy? I've seen him before on like you know on the di you know the bullshit that they show in the backstages. Yeah, because cause you know everybody knows Jim Johnston's face. Yeah, I mean, I actually watched a documentary on the guy. I had to find out who he was, and he has his own band. Did you know that? And they all sound like wrestling themes. <laughs> Every song he has, it sounds like a wrestling thing. But uh. So they're just like, okay, Jim, we're gonna, we need this movie. It's gonna be a romantic comedy. He's like, okay, I got a riff. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah stop. Hold on. <laughs> He's like, what I envisioned. Your movie, it's like what I envision. Your movie is gonna have an ultimate warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's the ultimate warrior theme for verbatim. We can't use that. No. <laughs> But no, that belt, I mean, you look at the size of that belt, man. I mean, what would you say that thing is, like 30 feet wide or 20 feet wide? I mean, it's... It's, it's pretty large and in charge. Yeah, it's pretty substantial size. I mean, but it's cool that, you know, they're bringing it downtown to, you know, hype up W, you know, the big WrestleMania event coming to... What is the stadium they're going to be at? It's going to be an open-air stadium, I know. It's not the Orange Bowl again, is it? Yeah, I think it is the Orange Bowl. Yeah. Really? Well, this would yeah. be the second time at the Orange Bowl, wouldn't it be? Yes. I can, I, can I be honest? Mm -hmm. Consider, be honest. Considering I'm not really um, athletic, mm -hmm. I don't I don't know the stadium. That's all right. That's uh, it's a what is that the Miami or F Miami Hurricanes, right? Or no, I'm sorry. Orange Bowl, yeah. Orange Bowl. The, the, the Hurricanes played there. They did play there, but yeah. Okay. But I thought it was in Orlando. If it's the Orange Bowl, then I think a college team played there before. But, I, I mean, at any rate, they've had it bef there before, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. No. They polished a turd the first time. Because right? <laughs> <laughs> that thing looked rough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's a serious, serious question, though. Okay. Okay. Now, this is in Orlando, right? Mm-hmm. That is a giant, beautiful, beautiful, you know, belt, sign, whatever. Right. How long before it gets tagged or stolen? <laughs> well, I don't know. The downtown's not that bad. I mean, I've got family down there, but I mean, it's. I know somebody's gonna want to steal that thing. That thing's crazy big. You're gonna walk into someone's house and it's just gonna be sitting diagonal, like the whole house is divided because it won't fit anywhere else, and they don't want to keep it outside. Well, I thought how cool it would be to put on my roof. You know, if I just put it straight across my roof, you know, people drive back and... Just put a banner of the champions here. Out, yeah. <laughs> my house is the WWE Heavyweight you, Champion. You can't miss my house, bro. It's got the championship belt on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, listen, bro, I live in John Cena. <laughs> the stomach area, you know. You right show up, attitude adjustment. The yep. next day, RKO, out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, how do you find my house? 
Look for a big ass belt. Says WrestleMania. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh, official size of this thing is uh, 30 feet wide by uh, 12 feet tall. And, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, we are at the Camping World Stadium. The WrestleMania will be at. That's the official name now. The Camping World? Yeah, April 2nd, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, the uh, mayor was <laughs> definitely, you know, he said uh, about the belt, you know, go big or go home. I mean, that's anyway, I mean, that's the only thing he really says in this article. But, you know, <laughs> bring WrestleMania to Orlando. <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah, you got to go big or go home. And you got the WWE going to park their WrestleMania in your city. They're like, hey, we got Shaq. <laughs> go big or go home. Yes. Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, versus Oldberg. Oh, see, no, don't get me started on that. Don't get me started on what? that. The old man holding the belt for what? no reason. N- no, there's a reason. What, there is what? a reason. To pass it off to Brock Lesnar? Exactly. <laughs> it's to pass it off to Brock Lesnar. Even though G- Oldberg, I will not call him Goldberg. He will be Oldberg for me, just to <laughs> let everybody know from now on. Um, <laughs> Oldberg shouldn't be holding that belt because he he freaking beat, I mean, he beat Lesnar twice, right? Right. In how long? I mean, I would say combined time of less than a minute, right? Or Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to have him toss off the belt to, from Oldberg to Brock Lesnar? What are you going to have, like a two-second match? It'll be, it'll be a squash match, just like he did John Cena. Maybe they should do a five-minute Iron Man match. A five-minute Iron Man match. Get the air tanks ready for both of them, because you know Brock Lesnar and Oldberg will need air tanks when that match goes down. It is. I mean, everything is set up just the way it's supposed to be. I mean, you got... Jericho and Owens, they're going into WrestleMania for the title. U.S. Yeah, for the U.S. Now, Jericho's leaving. Right. Jericho's got to drop that title to somebody. Yeah. Goldberg, he's leaving. Yeah, Goldberg's <laughs> he, gone. Yeah, he's an attraction. Yeah. They, they got him so to WrestleMania. Lesnar, man. I mean, Lesnar's an attraction, but not as much as Goldberg. But Lesnar, Lesnar is saying that he's giving it not a 100% go. But he, he's taking, like, Undertaker hours. Oh, okay. So he's going to show up for SummerSlam, WrestleMania, and maybe Rumble? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, uh, maybe I'll accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can I do don't. that. No? You say no? But, I mean, it, it, the absence makes a hard My guy should be coming fire. back and fighting for it. <laughs> Who's your guy? Baylor should be coming back if he's ready. Yeah, that's what I heard. He might make a surprise appearance at WrestleMania. I've heard that rumor. I don't know how true it is because, you know. Baylor cannot fight for the title. Really? You're saying no go on the title? It, I mean, not not 100%, but not while Brock has it. You cannot have this ass kicker whoop John Cena's ass in unimaginable fashion. Right. You know? Yeah, there's some bumps there with Oldberg, but and actually, let me take that back. Goldberg, yeah. Just in case he ever listens, <laughs> okay. I don't want that fucking fifty year old jackhammer coming after dude, my bring ass. It. I'm, I'm, I'm a big ass dude. We're both big dudes, man. And don't he's even got worry. One more for you. And he, this guy's tall as hell too, and he's got those <laughs> wicked arms, man. He could kill somebody with those damn arms, but. Yeah, you got. We got your back. Don't worry, oh, Oldberg. If you're listening, Oldberg, take your son and take your wife and go home, please. We love you here in the WWE in the past, but as in the present, you don't deserve the universal title, in my opinion. That's just me. I mean, I don't know. Come on, he still got it. Oh God, <laughs> he still got it. Oh. Oh, God, I hate that chant. I really do. But my favorite chant is, you fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. I love that one because, you know, they did fuck up that bad. You know. I've seen a lot worse fuck ups in, like, the 80s and the 90s before there was Botchamania. Right. I mean, them motherfuckers fucked up. Oh, yeah. Like, serious to a point of major injury. Yeah. (laughs) Hard my friends to any mothers, but those fuckers fucked up a lot. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Hey, we're not pulling punches. And just so you know, if you're fucking somebody with kids, you are a motherfucker. Ah, that is true. Well, that is true. That is true and established. I have been in the past. 
Hey, there you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you want to? I would say our next title or interest uh, news I brought up here was uh, I heard that Daniel Bryan hints at a possible return during WWE SmackDown, talking smack show uh, last night or whenever we put this out. Uh, the Thursday. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's not a Thursday anymore. I'm an idiot. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. My bad. But, uh, yeah, he is talking a potential uh, return uh, to competition. I I don't know how you guys feel. I mean, he was – I mean, he did the whole retirement thing. I mean, what are you – how are you going to come back after saying you're retired? What are they going to – like Kurt Angle wrestle next? Coming oh. out of a Hall of Fame? Oh, it, it. There's no problem with him coming out of retirement. For that, I only got two words. Terry Funk. Yeah. Terry Funk retired, what, 15 times? True. He retired True. almost more times than Ric Flair has had the title. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and wives. <laughs> yeah, and wives. <laughs> exactly. He's retired in Japan a couple times. He's retired in America a dozen times. Right. So you can retire and come back, but... If anybody well, saw Terry the- Funk was a <laughs> crazy lunatic. Oh yeah, but when I saw Terry <laughs> Funk, I didn't hear his theme song. I heard do 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 do. But I mean, all seriousness aside, though. But I mean, I mean, you think about he he's had over ten concussions, man. I mean, had seizures from these concussions. I, would you go? Would you put yourself out there? I you mean, shouldn't. I, right. I, I'm not condoning it. Right. I just it just kind of blows my mind that somebody with that much will and drive. I mean, you can't deny a guy with that you know feeling. But oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a confession. Okay, it, it's gonna be the first of many me stopping the show and going. I gotta make a confession. Okay. I watched half an episode of uh, Total Bellas. Okay. And it was. Now, don't judge me. Okay. I see, too late. I see your eyes. No, you're fine. I watch it, too. I'm not going to lie to you. Too late. <laughs> but even though it's so overly scripted, I know they like to take from a little bit of uh, reality. Mm-hmm. And Daniel Bryan is so goddamn depressing without being a wrestler. He is so... I've seen that. He's going to hang himself. I hope not. Well, that's why they have him as a general manager. I mean, he's he's part of it. But he's not, you know, he's not wrestling. Right. That's what he wants to do. This is going to be, the Daniel Bryan story is going to end just like the wrestler. He's going to die in the middle of the goddamn ring. Right. I mean, it's crazy to think that, you know, this guy's our, you know, our age, you know, right in the realm, 35. Well, I mean, my age, really, (laughs) if you want to get technical. But I just, you know, he's got that drive and the emotion, but that's all I think in the back of my mind is the... The extent of damage that's happened to his brain, his spinal cord, I mean, his neck, I don't know. You know, we can't say a lot because we're outside observers, but just general knowledge. (laughs) I don't see the doctors clearing him. Right. Yeah. I I mean, Vince is not going to have a wrestler. Listen, one wrestler dying in the ring is all he needs. Right. After Owen, it ain't happening again. It ain't happening, Captain. Yeah, yeah, that ain't going to happen ever again, especially what happened with Owen. That's a freak accident, but I mean, it's, yeah. But but with with all the the injuries that Daniel Bryan has sustained through the years, you might as well, if you're saying that he's walking into the ring, you might as well put a goddamn harness on him, right? No fucking rope, and throw his ass off the top of the fucking stadium. Well, yeah, Mike, <laughs> you had a point where you know putting on a goalie, what do you call it, one of those goalie neck braces? Yep. Yeah, using one of those. Maybe. I, I don't know how well that would sustain in taking bumps, you know. It wouldn't t- with taking bumps. Right. Hitting your shoulders and your neck and the back, your head, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would help too much. But it was a good idea. I mean, some way of, you know, keeping the head stationary instead of bouncing around. I think I think we just stumbled onto our new invention. <laughs> our new business. A Hans device for wrestling? <laughs> like NASCAR? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Why not? Wow. Like a better knee brace. That guy's got the patent on it. But, we, <laughs> but that's your idea, though. I like that. That's a, you Bet. guys together can make some money. I know a guy that can patent stuff. There you <laughs> go. Like that. There like you that. go. Make one point. You know what? I'll, 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 I'm seeing him next month. I roll it over here. He's, gonna, he's going next month. He's going to see him. So, no, he's coming here. Oh, shit. He's coming to him. 
So if they don't hear from us state. next month, <laughs> right. man, they know we're out of the podcast game. Right. If they know we're out of the game, man, we've made the perfect device for wrestling safe for everyone. You heard it, folks. Take it to the bank. <laughs> when they make the video, they're like, this is when they came up with the idea. <laughs> yeah. yep. They all said, fuck you to the fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, we don't have that many fans yet. Well, I mean, this is this is big ground right here. Yeah. You're One. back to valued listener. Yeah, valued listener. Thank you very much for listening. Like when we started the Weezman. Yep. Hello, valued listener. Weezman, uh, every Friday, download on CRISPR Media. And iTunes. And iTunes. Stitcher, whatever you want. Dot net. What, what, what do we got? Uh, uh, Edger and Christian right here? <laughs> I listen. <laughs> uh, right. But uh, hey, uh, let's get to something a little more, you know, cheerful and realistic. What's going to be happening at the WrestleMania? We have the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And my, my favorite person out of the whole group that, you know, they've listed this year is Rick Rude. I mean, it's overdue in my opinion. What oh, do you? It's way overdue. Yeah. I mean, what are your feelings on that, Justin? I mean, I mean, yeah, it's overdue, but I think if they really want to do it up, I think Sting should induct him. The man, wow. that, the man that put him out, might as well honor him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. The man called Sting did break his goddamn back. Man called Sting. Sorry. 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 You're all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. It's cool. You know, he's finally getting the nod to go. And, uh, I mean, they're saying that the person that might be enshrining him is Ricky the Steamboat. The Steamboat? Yeah. Ricky the Steamboat. So his character Do we have comes a, down uh, with a tugboat. <laughs> yeah, it's his tugboat's brother, little brother. See, that's why he's a steamboat. <laughs> Coming down to the ring. <laughs> tugboat Dude. and steamboat. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Well, what, mean, what what is the, what's officially the list of that if, that they've announced? I was trying to look for it. Um, I know it's Rick Rude, your girl Beth Phoenix. Boo. Uh, wow. Uh, Midnight what? Express, correct? No, rock and roll. Rock and roll Express. Sorry. Um, who else we got here? Uh, oh, we can't believe uh, Mr. Teddy Long. Can't leave him out. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep, Teddy that's Long's Teddy. in there. No, Teddy deserves it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Teddy no, get out of here with you. He deserves it. Uh, who else we got? Try to bring down the black man. Holla, 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 holla. Holla player. <laughs> holla player. Let's make, let's make this a three-way. I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what did he contribute? Uh, he was a he great was a, manager. Yeah, he was an awesome manager. I'll give, it, I'll give you that. But out of, you know, and we say with Ravish and Rick Rude, mm -hmm. way too long. How many yeah. people could have went in before? Before Beth Phoenix, before Teddy Long. Teddy Long's been in, Teddy Long's yeah, been, Teddy around, Long's for been long around for a while. long time. But as I know for that, Beth Phoenix, yeah, you could have put somebody else in there. You know what? The, 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 every, the last few years they've decided to put a diva in. Right, but it's not so, an old diva, though. Like, it's not. Well, she's I mean, an old diva. <laughs> well, how long ago has it been? I mean, how long has it been since she's wrestled? Uh, what? It's been a while. Didn't didn't she last a little bit bef after Punk left? That's what I thought. No, I thought she was left before Punk. Did she leave before Punk? Like, Punk broke up with her and she was like, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> I don't think they were ever together, but... <laughs> I, I thought she was... I swear she was dating Punk. She dated Punk before he dated AJ. Really? Yeah. I didn't think they were together. I thought he was married to... <laughs> When did they get? When did Edge and Beth get married? Uh, I want to say I don't, it was I don't know. during, wasn't it? Wasn't it when their time in WWE? I don't know. Could, well, you know, Lita was in between that too, so it was way. I think that was back when they were dating. It was probably like the Straight Edge Society days, right? So, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a hard, you know, area to. Not, it looks like you know, it looks like I'm the only one that's not in the Street Edge Society right now. <laughs> right. I still got my hair. Does that make me punk? Maybe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. He said yes. I'll go with him. <laughs> Listen here, Jenny Nitro. <laughs> or no, what, what was the other guy? Not Gallows. <laughs> the other guy. Uh, Anderson? Carl Anderson? No, not it. Not. 
No. You no, said no, gallows. No. Yeah, not gallows. I'm talking about the straight edge society. Oh, you're talking about uh, Joey Mercury? Yes. Joseph yes. Mercury? Joseph Mercury. And then you had uh, the bald, uh, <laughs> what was her name? I just watched that too. Watched that WrestleMania with him. And Serena? Serena. 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 Yes. I like that Serena though. That sounds sexy. <laughs> Serena. Like so that's such a, I was gonna say that sounds more like a drink. But uh, yeah, but, uh, no, Serena. That was I liked the straight edge man. That was cool. That was a good gimmick. But uh, we got we got a good group of people going in. I think minus Beth Phoenix. I mean, you don't want to. Aren't we, we, they knew they wanted. They, they knew I needed something to watch it for. <laughs> they knew Mike needed yeah, so she could do her. In. So she could do her antler thing before she like when she gets her. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I, I hated that. I, what is she? A goddamn moose? She's a uh, she's a ten pointer. <laughs> she's a ten pointer. All right, that's a good enough rating. I get. I did that. <laughs> well, sorry, Edge. You know, no hard feelings, bro. Straight <laughs> <edge>. <laughs> you ain't gotta rip it. You gotta rip it. Stealing moves. Kill switch, brother. Yeah, kill, <laughs> kill switch, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And if anyone doesn't know, watch the network. Yep. Got it. <laughs> um, okay. What are we, you want to do another one? We got another story? Oh, God, yes. Okay. Uh, well, we do have the uh, unfortunate passing of outlaw Ron Bass that happened... Uh, uh, well, that's the, right. I got yeah, that notification recently, today. Yep. Uh, passed away at the age of 68, but uh, better known as uh, the outlaw Ron Bass, as uh, he was a bullwhip uh, with feuding with people with uh, the likes of Junkyard Dog and uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. But uh, his most notable victory, they say, this is a WWE statement, of course. Uh, they, they had a, a pinfall victory over the young Shawn Michaels in the 1998 King of the Ring tournament. That was his biggest, vi uh, how do I say it, achievement, if you will. In, but, uh, in the WWE. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the, slash, the WWE. Slash back in the day, <laughs> WWF at that time. Yeah. Shh. Oh, you can't say that. No, well, it's WWE. <laughs> yeah, it, it, if, you, if you can be... Fucking Shawn Michaels circa the Rockers, then you're made. Yeah, yeah I'd say that in the W at that time. But uh, he Shawn debuted. Michaels before putting Margie Gennetti's face through the glass. <laughs> but uh, debuting in 1975, uh, this tough Texan performed in several NWA territories, uh, including Jim Crockett Promotions and the uh, Florida Championship Wrestling. So uh, yeah, he. Uh, uh, he uh, earned a bachelor's degree after retirement from the Arkansas State University. He became a successful successful construction equipment salesman. Hey, he made a living after wrestling. Yeah, not a That's lot of people good. can say that. He right. didn't go broke. Nope. <laughs> he was a smart man. Got in. Uh, got it together. But uh, unfortunately, he is uh, passed on. And uh, we do uh, give our salute. The uh, World Championship Radio salute. No, the black so hat will come off. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what else do you guys want to talk about here? What else do I got? <sighs> I have the I, my other my other little news pick was the uh, Lita competing in the eight person tag match. That was another one that surprised me personally because I thought her I thought she was had the same neck injuries and did it say where? Yeah, it was at uh, Maryland uh, Alliance, I believe. Let me pull up the article here. I have the links. I have the links. Oh, we have the technology. Yeah, I actually got smart for this and made a whole list. It was kind of crazy. I couldn't believe it. Cuban links. Paste. You would think if she's back in full capacity to wrestle that her first time back would be in a WWE ring and not just some podunk indie. Right. I don't know a lot about the company. The actual company's name is the Maryland Championship Wrestling, MCW. Uh, is the actual company. Uh, she was in an eight-person mixed tag team match. Um, but uh, she was in a group alongside the Bruisers and the Hellcats. Uh, they actually were victorious against the other group uh, that containing Andy Weinberg, Sean Studd, Rayo, and Jeremiah. These are the wrestlers in Maryland Championship Wrestling. Is that, isn't that Big John Studd's son, Sean Studd? That's what I thought. I think it is. I yeah. Think, I think it's Sean Studd. 
But, uh, yeah, they said that uh, her last match before that, of course, was uh, against Heath Slater, your boy, uh, Justin. Uh, Just one On uh, Monday Night Raw on uh, July 2012. One on one man band. One that wasn't a match. That was a moonsault. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we cannot call it a match. And two, he has kids. He's got to take any match he can. He's got that double <laughs> wide he's got to support now. I mean, he's, did he get the pool? I thought he got the pool. I Last I heard. He went to it, Walmart? <laughs> and yeah, he got the kiddie pool. <laughs> it's, it's exclusive. It's a Target. It's from Target. Oh, that's my where, bad. That's where you get the, the new summer deals. I, I was not aware of that. Thank you. He's got uh, kids. Hey. I don't got kids, so obviously I don't know. You right, got kids. Right, I don't have kids either. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, that's what, hey. I don't have kids either, but. Yeah. Hey. We're, we're all, yeah, but a kid, kid beats kid you for your belt. Here. <laughs> Which is probably why I don't like John Cena. I don't have kids. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to be shoved <laughs> down my throat. <laughs> right. Uh, what else do I got here? Uh, just looking at ESPN WWE. Um, well, Austin Aries is back, apparently. Uh, he uh, had a, a meet-up with uh, Mr. Neville, king of the cruiserweights, in the middle of the ring, uh, trying to perform an interview with Neville, and uh, apparently it got heated. And uh, Austin Aries decided to take matters into his own hands and uh, attack the king. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. What do you feel? Austin Aries, you glad he's back? Missed him from the orbital socket injury that he had from uh, a Kinshasa. I think I like it because I won't have to hear my commentary anymore. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I can't he's a it. complete and utter douche on commentary, but I like to watch him perform. He's he is one hell of a wrestler. He's he is what's advertised. Mm -hmm. I I don't dislike Austin Aries. Not at all. Right. But if I was booking this, I would have Ken, uh, Pause. Pause. <laughs> King Chong. That, that'll be edited Pause. out. We, yep. We'll just edit that out. Yep. <coughs> edited it out. Edited it out. Edited it out. Edited oh, it now out. we might have to edited keep it. it. I'm good at that shit. You like that? We can make a beat out of that. Holla, 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 holla. But I would have Nakamura okay. come down in the middle of the match and just give him a Kinshasa <laughs> right in the bad eye. Wow. Put him back out. Set it up for the comeback. The but next it, WrestleMania? The next package? But during the time, it'd probably be the next, what, takeover? Yeah, it'd probably be like in Texas again or yeah, somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> give, Toronto. It a, give it a couple takeovers down the road. Have it look like, you know, Austin Aries is out. He's all pissed off. Oh, my eye. I can't see anymore. He's taking away my livelihood. Right. During that time, you push Nakamura as the baddest fucking heel. He just comes in. He Damn. just fucking kicks fucking heads off. Like a legend killer style, like Randy Orton back yes. when he was the boy. You know? Yes. You can't see this, but I'm doing the pose. Yeah, he's doing the pose. <laughs> I don't know what Nakamura weighs, but it, does he? you think he weighs enough to get the Cruiserweight title? I, I think he's over. Yeah, I think I mean, he's over. Uh, yeah, I think he's over that. Well, it, okay, have it at have it at the uh, the NXT title. He just comes back. He just he's this badass. Have him bounce between two hundred five and okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, he's just this record. They, they, like they push Samoa Joe and Owens, you know, right. just before they pu they call him up. Yeah, that would actually be pretty cool. I'd watch that for sure, man. Yeah. You had, then when Austin Aries comes back. They can have a rematch. He can take the title off of Nakamura. Nakamura mm -hmm. can go up. Yeah. Everybody's happy. All the fans are happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't see why not. But, uh, yeah, I, I say uh, with what Austin Aries is doing coming back, I could see him taking the belt at WrestleMania. I mean, that would be cool for him. His first time ever being at WrestleMania and he wins a title. That's pretty cool for a job. I mean, he has been on the commentator bench for how long now? How many oh. how, how many people have come up other than Kevin Owens that won a championship right away? Not uh, many, man. American mm -hmm. Alpha? Yeah, American Alpha was a strong contender. They came up real quick and got the belts, but there wasn't anybody there. I mean, that was a belt they just made for the first time, right? Wasn't the SmackDown new? Yeah. 
tag? Yeah, it was it was it was yeah, right because, after the yeah because Raw had the tag team champions. Yep. Right, and they converted. And that it was that like over. the opposite with yep. the. Uh, oh no, because Finn Balor won it, but no one remembers that because it was like a week. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the <laughs> universal, universal title, title yeah. so. But the, uh, the the tag title, they well, New Day had it under the gold, or not gold, copper and black, you know, leather. Yeah. And it got converted over to the, the red penny. and silver, which is <laughs> okay. I mean, it's better looking than the, the, penny. the SmackDown. I like the SmackDown ones better. Uh, they're, they're, they're all the same. Yeah, Just they're all one, the same. One strap is red, the other yeah, strap is blue. Yeah, the one's blue. I know. The, red, the, <laughs> the blue looks better than the red. I know. I think about that all the time. Well, that, that and if you think about it, but, but, Raw is a better, uh, SmackDown is a better product, too. What, yeah, I would agree with that 100%. But, what hey, color is the, the women's? Uh, the women's is white. They're with white. The red the one for the red for the uh, raw and blue for SmackDown in the middle. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. It's different, goddammit. But there's still you know, one inner continental and down. one U.S., so that's fine. I'm good with that. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just bring it. As long as we get that that fierce debate over the titles yep. over. Hey, hey, I'm glad we got that out of the way because, you know, that could have harbored our That was a there. just so you know moment. <laughs> yep. yep. Like, and if you like fights like that, tune in for next week. That's <laughs> right. Next week, we're featuring Rob on the mic with Justin Mike. Hey, Mike on the mic. I'm a funny guy. <laughs> Sit um, down. What else we got here? Uh, I don't even want to talk about that shit. Uh, the shit I'm referring to is Undertaker versus Roman Reigns, and we already talked about him. Why? Uh, I love Roman. Wow. Wow. The looks. Really? What? Someone's... Well, you do like the revival, and I don't understand that either. Yeah. What is wrong with you? What? That what? is. What? What is wrong with the revival? But you know what? Anybody can like anybody, and that's the beauty of wrestling. Give, give he's, got can, bald like Randy. he's got his bald head. He's got a bald head. I like Stupid chops that go into a mustache. Wow. What is there Calm to down. like? All right. All young right. young Bring bucks. Down a little bit. Young bucks. <laughs> Same mutton chops. Well, oh, I kicked myself out. But that doesn't go to a mustache. Yeah, hey, but that, the mutton that, chops. Th that just screams NASCAR. <laughs> that's what they're supposed to be. Southern boys kicking ass remind you of the old AWA days and shit like that. I mean, you know, it, that's what it is. Uh oh, yeah, hello. Okay. Oh no, hell no. All right. You went up and done it. <laughs> I had to fix it. I got I got tangled up in my own cable here. There's way too much cable. We'll have to fix that next show. <laughs> but uh, no. I uh, I feel pretty good with what we've done here today. I mean, we covered over an hour and thirteen minutes. You, can you believe that? I told you. Hey, we're doing pretty good. I done told you. You're like, oh, half hour. Hey, we were rolling. Shit, it took us a half hour to get a theme song. <laughs> hey, this is all show. It's all good show material. It is. Uh, what Don't about, make me delete you. Well, yeah, hey, speaking of that, that's that was the one last thing delete. I was going to bring up. What do you delete. think about... Uh, the uh, Hardys recently showing up at ROH and beating the, uh, or how does uh, Brother Nero refer to it as, the Bucks of Youth? The, the Bucks young, of Youth. The Young Bucks lost their titles, the tag titles, to oh, the Hardys. Brother Nero. Oh, Brother Nero, I knew you'd come. Oh. And Vanguard won. <laughs> <laughs> and the dilapidated boat. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite character. You can put that down. I want. I need the shirt. I'm making it. What, the lapidated boat. What, what is the name of the boat? God, now I'm gonna have to look that up. What? It had a it had a serious name. I remember. There, there, there's a name. It, it has a name. Is it like uh, Ralph? Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It, it tastes it, like burning. <laughs> it it was some weird ass name. Oh man, this is—it's gonna haunt me if I don't find it. You know that, right? <laughs> what is the name of the dilapidated boat? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm typing into Google right now. It's this like you can name not, of dilapidated boat. Cannot close out the show until we find out the name of the dilapidated boat. <laughs> well, I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> I can't spell dilapidated. <laughs> Boat. <laughs> Boat. 
I have Delilah. I spelled Delilah. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> Delilah. All right, well, it does have a name. We all know it has a name. But Dilapidated Senor Dilapidated. Benjamin also and uh, King Maxwell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we pretty much pretty... named everybody in the Hardys. But uh, what do you think about it? What do you think about him winning that belt? It's, I think, nonsense. <laughs> it is nonsense, but I think it's a power play. It's a power play by them to get more money from the WWE. I mean, it, it, they're going to go over. The more titles they have on them, mm-hmm. the more they're worth, the more money they're worth. Right. It's it's a power play. It's the same thing the Bucks did, but the Bucks didn't make it to WWE. How long do you think they show up in uh, WWE? I hope they don't. Wow, I do. It it would be a money seller. Yeah, a money oh, seller. Oh yeah, <laughs> money maker, baby. Money maker, money be a selling. ticket seller. They're selling the money. They don't. They have so much money. They're selling it. They gonna sell them tickets, daddy. Yeah, well, daddy, we are gonna bring them in and push them out like baby. It's like what we gonna do is we gonna bring in them young boys. They, what do they call them? Them them bucks. Them them young them, bucks. Yum, young buckets. <laughs> them yummy yeah. them yummy bucks. We gonna bring them them yummy bucks. Yeah. And they and gonna bring in bring in the bucks. <laughs> yeah, the bucks. You know what? That is true. The bucks would bring in bucks if they were in WWE. I'm not gonna lie, but they'll never do it unless Kenny goes. You know, Kenny's their big boy, and Kenny, Kenny will never go. Kenny. Kenny. But you know what, though? And, and this should be the, the name of the episode. They got kids. Or at least one of them has kids. They all have kids. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, wait a minute. Right. No, I think Nick doesn't. Ha- I think Matt's the only one that yeah, doesn't have kids. And he's got more. Nick he's got enough kids. kids for both of them. Right. He has so. like two or three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's got enough kids for both of them. So they got kids. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the first episode. They got kids. And we found a song. That's the name of the title, Chris. <laughs> I they, know got kids. they got kids. Yeah, they got they kids. They got kids. So, I mean, he would understand if they would jump over, right. you know, to make that money. And it's not going to be a long-term contract. They would never. No, not even the Hard. I mean, the Hardys coming in, it would not be long-term. It would be, I mean, you know what? If you want to make it a real fantastical match like what they had in ROH against the Young Bucks, put them up against a triple threat tag team match with, Gallows and Anderson in one corner and put, uh, what's their names, uh, Alpha in the other. Who's got the belts? It's SmackDown right now. I can't remember. Oh, Brain fart. Um, SmackDown title holders. Can, and, can I be honest? Yeah. You don't watch SmackDown? No, I watch SmackDown. I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> no, isn't it Anderson and Gallows? There? <laughs> Aren't they? No, that's, well, no, that's, oh, that's raw. raw. I'm that's sorry. Raw. See? Yeah. See? That's, that's saying, how much I don't really care about their tag team. <laughs> but I'm saying as much <laughs> Even in though they have, they have the better tag team lineup, but no one gets a title shot. Right. <laughs> but I'm saying is this, is that they're just... Now, I would say that'd probably be fair enough for them. And they beat both of them Smackdown's clean. SmackDown's Alpha. Alpha. Okay. Alpha still has it? Okay. The Usos haven't taken it away from them Usos? Yet? Yeah, they'll <laughs> never get the belts, okay? They won't have them. There you go. Son of a bitch. But uh, the yeah, t- the, the, the have, the Hardys, have the Hardys beat, you know, have them beat them both, have them have the belts. I don't know. What do you What do you do from there? Oh, you know what? Okay, once again, if I if I had the book, if I had the book and I had the power, okay, the Hardys come in. I bring them in under the Raw brand. They fight for the titles. They win the titles. Okay, at at Raw or at a at a pay per view. At a pay-per-view. Oh, okay. oh, oh, it's, it's going to be money. It's going to be a lead-up. Okay. They'll do that like at tables, ladders, or chairs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, have it something wild and crazy. Then, at a house show, just out of nowhere, I'd have my brand-new signees of SmackDown yeah. on a short-term contract. Okay. The Young Bucks win the titles. Oh, shit. On a non-televised house show like they've been doing, you know, playing, yeah, playing yeah, the smart yeah, marks. Yeah, do the live show. Yeah. <laughs> you yep, know, yep. You play, get those guys with the cameras. Right, right. You know, so I'd have them win the titles. Now, all of a sudden, I have a, I don't know, bring back Night of Champions. Damn. I actually like that pay-per-view. That yeah. was one of my favorites. So now if I have a Night of Champions. Yeah, Night of Champions should be a combined pay-per-view. Like Survivor Series or yes. something. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. That's a great or, idea. Or even Survivor. Wait till Survivor Series. You're right. Why even, why even bring up something new? Wait right. till Survivor Series. Now, here you go. Here's your Young Bucks versus 
the Hardys. Well, I think, you know, that's a great idea, but I think Night of Champions, that's perfect for them because they that's all they talk about. They're champions of this, champions of that, champions. Night of Champions, boom. You got Looking the for bucks. the gold. Yeah, you got – that would be huge, man. I mean, that that's your money seller. All championships? I like that, money <laughs> – <laughs> It All is. the champions. Your, man. your whole card is champion versus champion. Their tag teams versus your tag teams. Have Intercontinental versus the U.S. Exactly. That would be perfect. Exactly. That, there's your whole card. You, Vince, we it, know you're listening, man. <laughs> Drink it in, man. If you need a new writing team, these three, right here. Hit us up. We need good job and money and medical, please. <laughs> we know you know Trump. Look us up. <laughs> That, that match was over. here in Detroit. Put us over. <laughs> it was in Detroit. Yeah. It was. That's true. You got your dome shaved. Yep. In Ford Field. Yep. A cool whip. <laughs> and I have completely cool run out of whip. things to talk about. <laughs> cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> well, I guess it's about... How you feel? You feel good? I feel good. You like this? You can do this for... We can do this for more? What do you think, Mike? As long as he keeps that stupid mustache, man, out of his mouth. <laughs> really? You he get... Keep, keep, gotta, gotta stay with the mustache, yo. Who? What? <laughs> Who? What? What are you talking about? What's he talking about? I'm, I'm so out of the loop. We're still talking about the revival, right? We're, we're still... Yeah. That, oh, come on. Oh. Come on. No mustache, yo. Hey, people can like what they like. This is 2017. I you must ask like you a want. question. You know what? You know what? what? What's our plugs? What's our plugs? What's our plugs? Who what, are we plugging? What's our plugs? What's our Twitter? What's our... Well, you got the WCR for Life on Instagram. And uh, do we have a Facebook presence? Not currently, but we're working on it. Yeah, we'll, we're going to talk to the boss. Yeah, we'll get everything set up through the boss. And we'll definitely have the feed up. Uh, we'll get all the, you know... Information will be found on ChristopherMedia.net, and uh, we've got to figure out, of course, when we're going to deliver the show. So, oh, And we're on Twitter. Yeah, we are on Twitter. What's that name? Um, we're at... Um, no, we're at no, um? it's not um. <laughs> no, that's all right. Let him work it out. He'll get to it. We're at WC Radio 1. Radio One, I like that. WC Radio One. WC Radio One for your smooth We're jazz. Westwood One station. Okay, but, you can't have that. You gotta get that out of there too. But uh, also, uh, we are on a uh, what is that? A, the one you introduced us that I don't like gambling. Uh, oh, the wrestling amino app. Amino app. Yeah. Amino. I, I've actually I've actually been looking at that more, and it has nothing to do with gambling because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and uh, no, I actually found a lot of other cool stuff on there. Like they had a bunch of like I'm into Funko Pops and collecting the WWE Funko Pops is one of my favorite things to do. And uh, they have a little pop community on there too, which was cool. Pop and, community. But definitely wrestling. They had like two or three. Yes, and pretty soon we're gonna have our own little uh, little chat room in there. Nice. We're gonna set that up. You can people people can talk to us directly. That's cool. I like that. They can hit us up, give us ideas, mm -hmm. see what they want to talk about. We yeah. also have little articles that we put up, little short deals. Your quizzes as well. I like those. Those are cool. Oh yeah, it's quizzes on there. So yeah. it's a lot, lot of stuff. Lot it's of stuff. definitely worth checking out. I mean, we're not affiliated with Amino, but hey, if Amino wants to throw us some money, ducats, the ducats can come. But not, that's okay too. I mean, <laughs> we enjoy using your app. It, truly, truly. Yeah. But uh, hey, this is uh, Rob and uh, Mr. Justin over here, and Mike. Oh. Signing off, Michael. You want me to call you Michael? Is that what it has to be? It's Michael. It, okay, so your name is now Michael. It's Michael. Yeah. Okay. So, so when we're it's on my license. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read your license. Sorry. So, so can we can we can we close off the yeah, show I'm with done, a, man. Can we do a Vince to close off the show? Yeah, I want it. Can we? Should can we, we make do, it real? Can we do? He, he's gonna look. He's gonna. Oh my God! Hurt. He's gonna peel. He's gonna eat. eat, eat. He's not, he's just trying to pee. He's gonna pee. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Thank you for listening to a World Championship Radio Podcast. 
If you like this show, please tell a friend. Please follow us on Twitter and like and share us on Facebook by searching for Christopher Media. You can subscribe to all ChristopherMedia.net shows for free on ChristopherMedia.net. Please make sure to rate and comment on all your favorite Christopher Media shows. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. And thank you for listening. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net.